Welcome to our series on the history of ancient Egypt. Today, we're going to explore one of the most fascinating stories in the Bible, the plagues of Egypt. In the land of the pharaohs, a series of catastrophic events shook the foundations of ancient Egypt. These were the plagues of Egypt, a story of divine retribution and liberation. The first plague was a dramatic turning point in Egyptian history. The Nile River, the lifeblood of Egypt, turned to blood. The first plague turned the life-giving waters of the Nile into blood, striking at the heart of Egyptian society. The Nile was the source of Egypt's power and prosperity. This plague was a direct attack on their way of life. This plague was a clear sign of God's power and authority over Egypt. The second plague brought an unexpected invasion of frogs. They covered every inch of Egypt, from the palace to the peasant's home, and driving the people mad. The Egyptians were powerless to stop the invasion, and their gods were silent. This plague showed the Egyptians that their gods were powerless against the god of the Hebrews. The third plague brought a swarm of gnats, tiny insects that tormented the Egyptians and their livestock. These plagues were not just random events, they were a deliberate attack on Egyptian culture and society. This plague demonstrated God's control over even the smallest creatures. The fourth plague brought a swarm of flies, which infested the land, and drove the Egyptians mad. Flies are attracted to decay and death. Their presence would have been a grim reminder of the plague's devastating impact. This plague showed the Egyptians that their land, was not immune to God's judgment. The fifth plague struck down Egyptian livestock, but the Hebrews' animals were spared. This plague demonstrated God's power over the natural world. The sixth plague brought painful boils to the Egyptians, even Pharaoh's magicians were struck down. This plague showed the Egyptians that their magic was no match for God's power. The seventh plague brought devastating hailstorms, destroying crops, and killing animals. This plague demonstrated God's control over the weather. The eighth plague brought a plague of locusts, consuming what was left of Egypt's crops. This plague showed the Egyptians that their land was under God's judgment. The plagues continued, each one more devastating than the last. Hail, boils, locusts, and darkness Egypt was brought to its knees. The ninth plague brought total darkness to Egypt, for three days, no one could move. This plague demonstrated God's power over light and darkness. The tenth and final plague was the most devastating of all, which brought the death of every firstborn son, but the Hebrews were spared, marked by the blood of the Lamb on their doorposts. This plague demonstrated God's power over life and death. And so, the plagues of Egypt led to the liberation of the Hebrews, and a new chapter in human history. And that's the story of the plagues of Egypt. Ten devastating plagues that showed the Egyptians the power, and authority of the God of the Hebrews. From the turning of the Nile River to blood, to the death of every firstborn son, each plague demonstrated God's control over the natural world, and His judgment on sin. The plagues ultimately lead to the Hebrews' freedom from slavery and their journey to the Promised Land. Thanks for joining us on this journey through the plagues of Egypt. We hope you learned something new and interesting. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel Scenery Guru for more educational videos on the Bible and history.